Hey there you guys, welcome back. It's that time of year again when amaryllis are supposed to be starting to go dormant. It is September. Uh, it's uh, the beginning of September, it's around September 6th, I think is what it is today. Uh, so uh, it's a beautiful day outside, it's a perfect day to be out here getting these things prepped. Uh, normally I like to, uh, maybe a middle of uh, August, stop watering my amaryllis, so naturally they go uh, dormant. But it's been really, really wet here, so uh, usually the water doesn't hit uh, that side of the house where these are normally kept. Um, but for some reason this year it's been a freak year, and uh, they are quite wet right now. So uh, that dormancy is not going to work the way that I thought it would. So this year I'm going to bare root the, the plant and uh, store them just the bulb. I usually leave them in their pot and then just store them in the basement. But uh, this year we'll try something different. Um, also, I thought it would be a good idea to refresh the soil. So instead of, uh, instead of leaving them in their pot, we'll take them out and then next season we'll plant them in new, new media as well as change out the pots. Uh, this pot with my multiple plants in it is getting all soggy and gross. Um, it's deteriorating, so it'll it'll definitely benefit this plant to uh, to change pots. Also, there's no drainage in this pot, so that's not a good thing. However, amaryllis don't mind wet feet from time to time. Uh, so anyway, I'll bring you a little bit closer and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so we've got an amaryllis here, and uh, it's in a pot. We're just going to remove it from here some of that drainage gravel back in the pot. We'll rinse that off later and, and reuse it at some point. And we've got some beautiful root system in here. Also some dead roots. <laughs> Not uncommon. After all, these uh, this plant has been growing in that pot for two years, so from the last dormancy period, those, uh, those dead roots are probably from that time. So I'm just going to remove all of the uh, the dead material from the plant, and oh, I forgot my uh, my pruners. Just hold on one second. So I got my pruners. All we want to do is we want to trim off the old roots. We don't need any roots on there anymore. And uh, sometimes I would take it and trim off all the green leaves right now, uh, but. Because it's still beautiful at nighttime, I'm going to let the uh, the plant absorb as much of the energy from these uh, leaves as, as they can. Um, so I'm going to leave them outside uh, in a sheltered spot uh, for maybe a week and then let the leaves yellow down. And then once the leaves become yellow, I'll just chop it off right here, close to the neck of the bulb. And then I will store it uh, in the basement. So. We'll do another one, and I'm also trying to uh, save these tags. I'll show you what I'm doing with the tags. This one's got some beautiful white roots. Um, look at the size of this bulb. That bulb's done quite nice this year. It's actually uh, wide and flat, not like a typical amaryllis. This is the neon one. This is pink. I wonder if the bulb is flat because in the beginning uh, the bulb started to rot. So we want to trim away these roots. And we'll remove any dead, uh, dead leaves that are on there. All of this soil and stuff is going to go to the compost. Now, because this one has a variety name on it, I'm going to take a piece of my Velcro. I was going to use elastic bands, but I don't have any elastic bands. Go figure. And uh, just going to attach the label to the stem here. And again, I'm going to let this sit out in the sun for, uh, for probably a week. And then when the leaves become yellow, I'll chop it back. I might have to put the, the tag in a different spot. Uh, let's choose one with all kinds of babies. Let's do the, the, the pot that's not looking so good. I'll move these out of the way. 
So this pot here has all kinds of baby bulbs in it. I don't know whether you can see, but we've, we've uh, dealt with this uh, plant in many, many update videos. Let's just lift it out. As you can see, there was no drainage in this pot, so there's all kinds of standing water. But uh, amaryllis can tolerate some standing water. Actually, look at the, the root system. The root system is pretty, pretty nice, especially for, uh, for standing in water. Re they really are water hogs when they're actively growing. If you were to do that and the bulb wasn't growing, you would rot it out for sure. We're not going to save any of these roots, so you could be as, as mean as you need to be to, to pry it apart. This one is evergreen. Okay, where's my pruners? I don't need to mess with all of this soil. But I'm just going to get rid of this anyway. All right. Again, get rid of all of the uh, the yucky stuff. You don't want any of this uh, dead material to uh, perhaps start rotting your bulb prematurely. You want to store it very, very dry. Okay, need another one of these. The next ones are going to have babies. We'll see what the babies look like. Hope I'm not boring you too much. All right, put this with the others. Okay, so we got babies on both of these. You want to try to keep the babies attached to the mother plant as long as you can. They develop faster when they're attached to the parent plant. So that's why I wanted to, to show this to you. Being a little bit more careful because I don't want them to break off prematurely. If they break off, that's okay. Uh, these ones are actually, this is actually full size. This plant here is a bulb all of its own. These are black pearls. So these ones right here are probably going to be still attached. And I'm wrong. They are completely separate. So if I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if they're still attached to the parent bulb, don't uh, detach them because they, they still will feed off of the parent plant and uh, develop a lot faster. If you were to remove these and they were still attached, It'll take you several years before this is a blooming size, but if you leave it attached to the mother plant, um, it'll take only a few years rather than, uh, than several. So anyway, because these are all the same variety, I'm going to attach these all together, kind of like an onion string uh, with the label so we don't uh, forget what it is. So I'm not going to uh, bore you with uh, going through all of these amaryllis. The process is all the same. Just uh, removing any dead decaying matter. I don't need any of that uh, causing problems in the future. As it's dormant, uh, some of this stuff will still go brown, but you just don't want rot to develop if you can help it. So I'm just going to take all of these together. I'm going to put the label here. When I uh, when I remove the, the, the top growth after it's yellowed, um, I will probably have to re-label re it, but that's okay. This is all I need for now, just so that I know that this clump is all black pearl. Anyway, uh, stay tuned because uh, in a few months time after these have come out of dormancy we'll, we will replant them so we'll see how they've how they've uh, gone through their dormancy period anyway happy growing everyone and enjoy your amaryllis I'd love to see how yours are growing show me some photos of uh, when they start to develop and that is my Farmville game if you heard a sheep in the background <laughs> so anyway stay tuned for more updates here we go right here, uh, the uh, Papilo Amaryllis here. Uh, this one 
has bulbs that are still attached. Notice how they're not falling apart. They're still really firmly gripped on. We're not going to try to separate these ones. They, uh, they will do much better if we leave them like this. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you as well. Um, yeah, so happy growing. Hopefully this is it. This is all I needed to show you. Also sunburns and uh, other crazy things. So uh, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, it's coming along just fine. It's growing. Uh, it's 